All right, here's the I'm way the divisional Saturday ended with Ray Lewis and the Baltimore Ravens Ray, after Ray. taking down Tom Brady, trying to do the same to the most valuable player in the National Football League who got the ball first and started winging it around a lot. There's Pierre Garçon, who's uh, been playing uh, this in this game and practicing all week, wondering about his family members in Haiti, as we all know about it. Led to three points as the Ravens come right back with their best drive of the night. Yeah, we knew the coach would come out throwing the ball, but we did not expect the Ravens to come out throwing the ball. Coach, you said it earlier, they went deep early trying to back up the coach so we can have a little room to hand this ball off. Joey Lacco on his 25th birthday, six plays later on third and goal, almost picked off by Antoine Bethay. That would have been a pick six right there. Yeah, that thing's going to go yard. Hits him right in the chest. You got to hang on to this one. Oh, that's why they play defense. That's a birthday gift for Joe it's Flacco like right there. Defense. Yeah, Whoa, he, he knows he got right. away he with that one. So the game's tied at three in the second quarter, midway through it. Reggie Wayne on first and ten. A slant out in front. He extends his arm knowing he might get hit by a safety. Nice. Whoa, wow. beautiful. Oh, man, rarely does he tell a receiver going across the middle to extend like that. But Reggie Wayne, they know how to shoot that. Seven plays good. later, third and two. Holodi Nada. Yeah, you can't spell a loadie without load in there. Jim Caldwell decides to go for it on fourth and four from the Ravens. 35. And Joseph Adai gets shoved out of bounds by Daniel Ellerby. Daniel Ellerby, did he get him out of bounds before the first down? It's ruled a first down. It is, huh? Three plays later, right at the red zone. Yeah, it's a first down. Right at the red zone, right at the Ravens 20. Manning to Mike Hart. Is he from Michigan? He Rich? sure is. <laughs> That's the type of play you saw four years in Ann Arbor. Nine-yard game, two plays later, first and goal. Manning to Austin Collie. Nice throw, nice catch, first touchdown of the game, right at the two-minute warning. A lot, of a lot of quarterback in the National Football League throws this ball to the corner. This is a hard throw, and Peyton Manning makes it look like it's an easy throw. An eight-minute drive that went 80 yards, and as I said, right at the two-minute warning, Second play of the Ravens' next possession, throwing it down the field with a minute 48 to go. Incomplete. Third down. Third and six from the Ravens' 22. And the Ravens throw for it again. And oh my goodness, it's dropped by Ray Rice. Only 17 ticks taken off the clock by the Ravens. Those two dashes above the Indianapolis symbol show. That's two timeouts to go for Peyton Manning. Leaving him too much time. More than enough time. Next Fourth play of the drive, the ensued position. There's Donald Brown right up the gut. Runs over Ray Lewis. A terrific rookie this guy's going to be. Look at him. He's good in the run game and in the receiving game. Next play, Manning throws to Reggie Wayne, but this is called pass interference. Yeah, there's a bump right there over there on the sidelines. We're going to give him a first down. It was pass interference. Fuck with him. Cut it out. Just yep, yep, do that. Got to double move him. First down. For the Colts on the Ravens, 14. Two plays later, second and 10 from that 14. Manning to Collie, incomplete. Oh. And Ray Lewis called for it. What a, I mean, you can what even a, hear Ray Lewis on the microphone saying, it's that was a football. bad call. That was a bad call. And I know you guys were trying to say he went helmet to helmet. The helmet helmet touched. Touch, but that was more of a shoulder. And you got to let the guys play football. Right? So it's a fresh set of downs. Half the distance of the goal. Two plays later. Third and goal with six ticks left. They decide to go for it instead of the field goal. And would you believe it, that is a touchdown. For they Reggie run this under route against man, against zone, everywhere on the field. Very productive for them. Put it on his body. Cannot give Peyton Manning another opportunity in the red zone. And that's the way the half ended. Two scores. The Ravens are now down. Midway through the third quarter, second and 14. Ray Rice receiving for the Ravens right there to take it to the 45-yard line. Third and three. Rice from Flacco trying to buy some time. Rice gets out of the backfield, but it's Rutgers on Rutgers Ooh. violence. Gary Brackett stopping Ray Rice there. got away with a call here. He didn't play the ball at all. Little contact, but no call. Incomplete. Brackett could have helped him out by just stopping and going up for the book football to make it a clear pass. And yeah, making it fourth and three, and the Ravens decide to go for it. Down two scores, and it's an incomplete pass to Demetrius Williams. Next Colts possession, Manning. Six minutes to go. Going sideline. There's Ed oh, Reed, Bag and Manning. And he's off to the races, but Back here comes Peter Waiter serving up a big bowl of fumble.
the intended receiver, Pierre Garçon, chases that down with great hustle and pops it out. What a game-saving play. Amazing. So the Colts get the ball back. And did you see the sideline of the Baltimore Ravens? It looked like the win was taken out of their set. Well, three plays later, the win comes right back as Ed Reed picks off Manny again. But you saw the flag coming to your picture. As Ed, as you know, is thinking end zone, setting the Ravens up inside the 15, inside the 11, but it's called pass interference on Corey Ivey. Spot foul, give the ball to the Colts right, right there. there. There's the bump. I don't know about that, Steve. It's close, yeah. Nobody plays the ball as well as Ed Reed. There's some great safeties in, in this league, but he's one of them. Two plays in a row that don't help his cause. John Harbaugh's beside himself. He bagged Manning twice, and they wound up giving up three points on the drive. And Ray Rice running for the Ravens. Oh, he fumbled it at the end of the run. How does that happen for the Ravens again? <laughs> Me. I mean, that oh, is that's Raheem excellent Brock. on defense. Helmet to the football. That's excellent by the defender. And you see the guys tapping Ray Rice there. There's nothing you can do. That's a physical play. You were trying to be physical and make things happen. That's going to happen. Well, that's game. why they're trying to pick him up because they know when they get the ball back, he can make plays like this as the Colts were punted the ball away after the Rice fumble. It turned into no points for Indianapolis. Five minutes to go. Flacco going for Jarek Mason. Oh, oh, he's picked by Antoine Bethay. That was an underthrow right there. Look at that ball. Hangs in there a little long. Derrick Mason was clearly open on the double move. You got to put the little air, air under that ball and throw it out in the field. Then Jim Caldwell's rate of defense turned the Ravens over one more time as the Colts come off of that bye week, come off of the three weeks in which they really didn't play their starters or didn't play football at all with the bye week included. They looked sharp, they looked fast, they certainly looked healthy, and what they look like is a team that's going to host an AFC championship game in the early game next Sunday against either the Jets or the Chargers. They end the Ravens' season.